let's consider this limit. The limit of 2x minus x as x goes to infinity equals infinity. That's a true statement, but there's two totally different ways to think about this statement. And it really hinges on the distinction between potential and actual infinity. To have a potentially infinite pile of fish is to have an endless supply of fish, as many fish as you'd like to have. And that sense really goes well with how we're thinking about infinity in these limits. To say the limit of 2x minus x equals infinity as x approaches infinity is to say that I can make 2x minus x as big as I like as long as x is big enough. Contrast that with actual infinity. To have an actually infinite pile of fish would be to have, right now, a pile of fish that contains infinitely many fish at this very moment. Now, is it possible to combine that way of thinking with infinity with these kind of limit statements? Let me share with you a fable to see one of the paradoxes that results. Once upon a time, there was a house. I lived in that house with my cat. And we lived near a lake. And this lake is full of fish. So every day we went fishing. And each day I caught two fish. The first day I caught fish labeled one and two. Now my cat prefers eating the lowest numbered fish in our stockpile, so my cat ate the fish numbered one. The next day I went fishing again, and I caught fish labeled three and four. And my cat, still preferring to eat the lowest numbered fish, eats fish number two. Another day, another fishing expedition. I go fishing again. I get two more fish labeled five and six. My cat, preferring to eat the lowest numbered fish in our stockpile, eats fish number three. I go fishing the next day and I get two more fish, fish labeled seven and eight. My cat, preferring to eat the lowest numbered fish in our stockpile, eats fish number four. And so it goes forever. Each day, our stockpile gets bigger. There's more fish in my pile every single day. And yet at the end of time, do any fish remain? On the nth day, my cat ate the nth fish. So which fish survives my cat's appetite? Human beings want to understand infinity. But reasoning about actual infinity is liable to walk us straight into those kinds of paradoxes. Instead, limits, by focusing our attention on potential infinity, provide a way to reason about infinity that avoids those kinds of paradoxes. It provides a way for mere human beings to think about infinity in a precise way. Mm -hmm.